<sighs> Trying to get it all out of my system before I start. <laughs> yeah. I the moment the moment I hit record, it starts. It's the worst thing. I was not tired before I started this. All right, guys, welcome. I'm joined today with my good friend Cassandra as we go into the wonderful and amazing world that is Franbo. This is a game that Miss Cassie over here bought me uh, three months ago. Am I correct on that? I forgot. It was a while ago when it was like super popular. Yeah. I really love this game. It she, is so cool. She's just like, hey, uh, you you wanna you wanna play this game? And I'm like, yep, uh, yep, yep, sure, sure. And she's like, well, it's exactly fifteen dollars. I'm buying it for you. What? Yep, it's <laughs> yours now. Come on. Yep. <laughs> what are you doing with your money? Buying was that the best games. use of it? <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. And because here we are. Here we are. A few months later. <laughs> um, so, Fran... Oh! I, I'm assuming Fran's this is... eyes follow your mouse. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I was about to point out. I don't know anything about this game. Cassie's seen it played through at least once. And I've seen it played through like three or four times. Alright, three game. or four times, and this will be her fourth or fifth. So let's start this new game. It uses an autosave feature, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. That looks like hell. <laughs> I see my parents. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. They What's look up? happy. Why is Mom's hey, eyelash coming for out me. of her face? They have a present for me. I wonder. Is it some bread? It's, it's a something. cat! So sweet and pretty. Can I eat it? Dark as the deepest night. Just like my eyes! <laughs> it's Mr. Midnight! Yeah, that's what she My a best friend. It's not a bad name. My only friend. I was about to make yeah, that really joke. Yeah, I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> We're having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. Hi, Aunt Grace! I really Thank like her a lot. Yeah, her because there's nowhere where her shoes are, and it looks like she's just wearing super high stripper boots. It's Friday. My end. parents are going out. Bye, Mom and Dad. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Look at fucking Mr. Midnight just drinking that fucking bowl. Getting yep. shit all over the place. You better We're clean that We're having so much fun. <clears throat> Look at his little Monday. butthole. He's got a butthole. <laughs> it, it does have a butthole. It's Midnight <laughs> Night. Something happened. But something feels real bad. Why is everything poking on it? Like your clothes, oh. the curtains. Oh, a strange hi. creature outside my window. I like your top hat, sir. I don't like it. It scares me. Oh, Suddenly yeah, I my hear bro's something. On fleek, though. It reminds me of that movie I watched recently. It's mom screaming. Oh no, it's okay. Daddy and her are just wrestling. Oh, shut up. I want to know what's wrong. <laughs> A bright light shines from my screamer. parents' room. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Surprise, this is the first time you found them like this. I go closer. And closer. And then I join them. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? Well, parents are dead. She's I, she's just being rich away from being Batman now. You can be Batman, just become rich. Get the money, get all the money. At least Mr. Midnight's still with her. Yep. Look at him taking care of her. Cutie, cutie little kitty cat. Oh. His his chased away. Being. Oh. That was a fucking great job you did of protecting Fran, Mr. Midnight. Is that a cultist? That's weird. <laughs> it's a dark cultist. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, we'll wake up. This is a man speaking, by the way. One. Two. Three. How many links does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Fran, how do you feel? <laughs> Which one do you want to pick? I'm fine, I guess. I 
feel like dying. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everyone has within. Do you want to find the killer or do you want to go home? I want to find the killer. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. I want to thank them. They kept fucking every night. They kept me up. Couldn't focus on my studies. It was really annoying. Oh my god, Cassie. <laughs> I'll find my cat and the killer. I'll find my the killer and my cat. Your cat is missing. It'd be impossible By the to way, get him back. Just, just to warn you, sometimes what's in the little bubble is not actually what's said. Like most of the time, it's it's something along the line, but sometimes it might be switched or it might be longer because I can't really fit much in that little bubble. Yeah, I know. But now I have something for you, Fran. Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. This is your first time you get to play. Real quick though, what do you think that guy's name is before you continue? Um. Uh, He's a doctor, so I want you to guess his last name. Doctor what? Doctor Shrink? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Continue. This is my mother's purse. Fucking little ass thing. Open it. There's something inside. This is funny. Oh, look, a note. Read it. You gotta examine it to read stuff or look at stuff. Dearest Fran, here's the purse you like so much. I thought you'd like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you always keep this purse and give it to... Give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Left, love, Aunt Grace. <laughs> Okay, so combine. She is, she is worried about you. I know how basic things in these I know, but work. I'm just saying to use stuff, you have to click it first in the inventory, press use, and then use it on what you wanted to in the room you're in. Yeah, I, I know how to play these games. Okay, She's well, worried I'm about you. Sure. I'm worried too. Because I'm not crazy and still here. <laughs> Stop it. You're out of control, young lady. I'm gonna be honest, I. Like her dress, I, her dress and I, her shoes look really cute. Alright. I'm so tired of all this. I just wanna to go to my room. Yes, you can leave, but before you, before you do, it is time for your new medicine. What medicine? It's called Duotine, and it makes you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. You're about to see his name. Anything new? today, Dr. Dearn? Yeah, his name was Dearn. Dr. Dearn. Why would I be able to guess that? I didn't, I knew you were going to be able to guess it. I just wanted to see what you think he was named based on his face. Nothing I actually. actually. Know his first name. Same oh, visions as before. Oh, I see. Most of the nurses don't have names, by the way. This is just red-haired nurse number Here, one. Here, Fran, take your medicine. Fuck you! We don't have all day, friend. Stay Take friend. the pills now. Can I read for somebody, or are you going to read everything? You can read for the nurses. How's that? Fuck you. Click on the damn pills already. Mm, I don't know. Take your meds. You ain't got all day. You heard Dr. We don't Beard. have all day, friend. Well, I have as much time as I want. Yeah, I can waste all your time all I want. I can waste all the viewers' time, too. You can't stop me. No one can stop me now. Fine. <laughs> <coughs> you know that I'm fine. I don't feel good. That's your mom and dad's work, by the way. Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Beware, Fran Bo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Mr. Fran, wake up! The medicine will help you escape. 
I'll be waiting for you in the forest. Alright. So now I gotta get to the forest. I love we you. We love you too, Mr. Midnight. Cute little fucking cat. We got you. We got you, friend. <laughs> Chapter one, my sober day. Pretty ironic. Yeah. Uh, why would anyone want to live in this room? <laughs> she doesn't want to live there. She's forced to live there. But why so, this decor? I suggest, by the way, in the, this game, that you click everything you can at least three times. All right. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Get out of bed first. Yeah, there you yeah go. it's it's doing it. I had to click. Okay. Case two five zero six two zero zero nine one five zero zero zero. Name friend Bo Dagenhart. Age ten. Gender female. History: The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum, showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details submitted. Tr treatment: Doctor Marcel Dieren has has tried different medications, all have canceled because of the side effects. Documented July twenty fifth, nineteen forty four. So we know what time zone. Psycho yep. what? I'm not that for sure. Side effects affecting one side of me, maybe? Oh dear, I really wonder who brought me here. Okay. Typically it's only three times. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Okay. You maybe want to I don't want to, I just picture. woke up. I want a minute. Trying to mm -hmm. see if I can interact with this bed again. Locked. Good reason to get curious. I should get the key for this. Do with Still that. closed. I'll get your nose. I'll get it. Are you ha a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. Oh. Right is such a cute little thing. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. It does the same as before. Huh. Oh, holy moly. Something fell. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. No, I can look outside. Oh, nice place, right? How do I? The eyeball. Okay. The eyeballs are how you move from room to room. Wait. I want to interact with these. Fine. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me to, the medicine would show me where he is. Hate the monster. Oh dear, I missed you so much. I'll find you, Mr. Midnight, I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear kitty. Everything will be just fine. <sighs> oh, shit, I yawned. I'm sorry. I can still walk around it and see what's on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna look outside the window now. Actually, wait. A handy hook. I'll save it and play pirate later. Alright, cool. Tower defense. We have you... We have for you a crazy... What? Or is it a, t a defense tower? Um, I guess that is my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. By the way, Gabe, um, look in your inventory again. Anything you notice about it? The letter isn't there, the, uh, there's Bottom this left? little skull and the, oh, the devil, yeah. The what? I call it a devil. It is a skull with goat horns. Oh, okay. Did it look familiar? It looks like the monster from before. I like the other one's top hat. Fucking yeah. top hat. Yeah, that's what I was looking at, but it's too spoopy for me, so. <laughs> How dare you? Can't judge okay. people just because they're spoopy. Friend is amazing. <laughs> friend, friend. I don't think you understand. You know it's must. Friend. Moonwalking. There we go. Oh my god, that's fantastic. Um, I can't see through this window. I guess it's the same view as the window next to it. The playground! Look at the rabbit! And the swing. Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Um, I like the bunny swingy thing. It makes me dizzy. 
This is an odd, this insane asylum. Why? It's not an insane asylum, it's a mental institution for children. My legs are just fine. Um, I'm not disabled. Are you sure, Fran? Breaks towels? Are towels? Bad. I don't need towels! I don't think I need any of this. I think I'm double clicking. Yeah, empty bottles, empty bottles. Nothing useful. Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. I guess the nurse would never let me touch anything. I know that nurse always keeps the medicine, but where? Kathy? What? Are you... Oh, right. Oh. Oh, friend, you're awake. Good. How long can I sleep? Three days, maybe? Uh, so many days! Oh no, so many days! I should find Kitty! Your cat is probably dead. Now leave. I'm working. Uh, Stupid something kids. happened. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You're nothing but trouble! What is it? I broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside the window and I actually broke the curtains. <laughs> Accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. You know, I, I would go with you, but I don't care. By the way, Gabe, I'd just like to mention that this is all one room, and just because you have to click something to go to the other part of it doesn't mean people can't see where you are from the other side. Yeah, except that she has her back turned to me, so I figure it'd be pretty she easy doesn't. to do. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> also, I didn't know this is one big room. It's obvious. You never passed a wall or a door or anything. Yeah, something I, is there missing. Could be a door right there. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? What's a hook? No. <laughs> that was the wrong choice. God damn it. Whatever. You can't keep doing that, because if you make the right choice, things happen the way you want. But if you make the wrong choice, shit does not happen the way you want. It's a lot easier if you pick the right choice. You can okay. still play the game, but whatever. Also, you clicked right through my last dialogue, you bitch. Now you can go over there. Go investigate her desk to the fucking ends of the earth. I'm sorry. Hey, click everything on the desk before you click what's in the desk first. I can read this, by the way. The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After, A blank, drink, after, after drinking, drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't... been social for three days now some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come and come out and play okay now look at the bottom uh -huh. hh -H, yeah all right you can get out of that now keep clicking violent, violent trauma can have great in oh fine you're gonna read everybody's dialogue i could at least read the written stuff yeah. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world, this can be interpreted as paranoia. And then that's just a diagram of the brain. Okay. Ew. 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 Really oh, keep these pat patches to stop blood. You should wait. No, you didn't completely explore. You didn't hit the other thing in the desk. I'm not gonna take a gun. Click it again. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. There you go. Okay. Fran doesn't decide to take the gun. You're just supposed to see it. You can't go that way. No eyeball. I would suggest you completely explore the area you're in before you try to use anything. Yeah, no, I'm examining. Oh, hey, Hi. it's a boy! Let's fuck his brains out. Shut up. Hello, Phil. Hello. Know any way out? You do know the way out, right? There are many ways out. I was gonna make a joke, but I don't know if I should in this setting. Everything's oh. locked. Yes, but you know that everything's locked. Indeed, but the office is the key. 
What do you... The office? What do you mean? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Wait. Who doesn't want you to tell... What? Him. All doors are closed. You're a prisoner of my game. Hello, oh, Satan! Thanks, Satan! <laughs> and nobody will help you escape. Leave me alone. I hate you! Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Oh, oh, a secret box. Shh. Did I just jack his stuff? <laughs> under the bed. He didn't even remember it. Oh, hey, a key. I wonder what that opens. Was there anything that we came across earlier that was locked? Nope. Oh, wooden um, wooden... horsey. I'm, I'm voicing friend and bow. I Back know, and forth, but I just the trip to say of our that. lives. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Do you see there or not to be seated? That is, that the, is question. the question. If I Fucking sit down, friend, I'll eventually get up, so what's the point? How are you quoting Hamlet? You're ten! To be seated in... Okay, I, I did that when I was ten. I did. <sighs> Case 12114536. One, 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 oh, five, you're three, older six. than Phil. Name Fillmore Bronstone. Age eight. Gender male. History. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoid not yet diagnosed. Treatment. Daily treatment with Dr. Oh, Marcel Marcel. Marcel is his first name. We have not achieved the patient's trust, and he refuses to be questioned. Documented April 6th, 1944. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. Secret mission that you told Phil about. <laughs> <clears throat> Woo! Well, yes, yes, I got it, and there's something inside. Ooh, well, I saw this on the main menu. My hair clip, I should give it a good use. What do you think you could use that for, Gabe? For picking a lock. Or my nose. No? Okay. No, no not my nose. Do you want to try to open that box you have? I'm going to check out the other items first. Oh, yeah. That's a picture of your family, by the way. The two in the back are your mom and dad, and the one on the left is Aunt Grace, I think. Yeah. They're twins. Oh, my dear family, I'll guard this with my life. I miss you so much. I need you here with me. I'll find my kitty and then go to you, Aunt Grace. I know Aunt Grace will take good care of me and Mr. Midnight. I wish my I parents just, were alive. I love looking at this picture at her parents and Aunt Grace, and they look so normal, and then you look at her, and she looks like she's fucking coked out of her goddamn mind. Yep. Like, she's that owl, and it's like, oh, it's so calm, and then it looks at you, and it's just like, uh... It's funny. Doesn't this look familiar? Wait. I only got one of them, so it was eight H what were the letters? Hi. Eight nine four five. Eight nine four five. It's in your inventory, sweetie. Yeah, I know. I wanted to come up I wanted to go here though. Eight, nine, four, five. By the way, you don't actually need to look at that whole thing to see it. It's basically just the number that letter is in the alphabet. Oh. So, like, well, once you figured out that eight was eight, you could have figured out that I was nine and the other two the other two. Well, Thank it's pills. easier to just read it off there. Those pills look really nice. I like that pill bottle. It's a very pretty pill bottle. Oh, that looks like something special. You maybe want to click that. No. I think I'm just gonna walk around endlessly. Without a single way to do anything. Maybe just look at this again. My hair clip, I should give it a good use. Hmm, this doesn't seem to do anything. I wonder why. Oh, I wonder. To happiness, this way. Oh, look at this deer! It's a deer friend! Just click your deer friend! Um. Hello? What? Oh no, your head! Yeah, 
his headphones off. Um. What does the board say? You can see. Huh. Phil looks really weird. Phil was playing with his uncle, and the uncle was mad. Mad! Phil was crying. Oh, poor Phil. Did you see? You killed the bird. Your mommy's not happy. Uncle will die. It just repeats. Like I said, most of the time it's only three. Yeah, but I, I tested it just to be sure. It was not me. Is that? Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Bunny, wake up. Please, bunny, just wake up. Is... Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. That's rude. Hmm. Um... Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you Yo, right? Yo, steal her yarn ball. Fucking Hello? finish that shit. Make a nice scarf for yourself. Excuse me, Lady Nurse. This may be useful. Small and Sharpie. This might fit somewhere. Cool. Watch your step. Huh. Board it up. By the way, you can just click the bottle again to turn it off. Just FYI. Okay, so it's not a problem if I walk over here, right? No. <laughs> Okay. Watch my step, huh? Hi, oh, yeah, handprint. Playground doesn't look any different except for the handprint, yeah. That's kind of weird. You just oh, saw well. three things holding up your head and a handprint on the window, is what's weird? What? You just saw three things standing outside a window holding your head and a handprint on a window, is what's weird? Well, no, it's weird that that's the only thing that's different. Who did it? Who to thunk it? Blood. Find him. A sad face. <laughs> sad face. All right. You already went over there. I haven't clicked on this yet. He did it just as you can see. I want to see if anything happened if you clicked on it. Of course it's locked. Still locked. If I were bigger, I could take it down. Alright. Uh huh. I guess it's time to go down here. Yeah, it is. Good job. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. What? Fox, what? no! <laughs> Was that real? Oh, dear Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Fuck him. Foxy Fox, don't cry. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Foxy, why are you so sad? Okay. I saw the children murdered right in front of him. So you ain't have really anywhere else to explore here. You might wanna, you know, go back to the normal world. Yeah, I'm just looking at things. I'm thinking of the game and how I interpret it. Where'd the clown go? I hope he's not around here. <laughs> Looks like he escaped from the painting. By the way, you can do that an infinite amount of times. Cool. Alright. So that door's locked. What could do you do with that? Oh. It's funny that a ten year old knows how to pick a lock. Yep. Now I use this bobby pin thing and pick Handmade this lock. Key. Eh. Okay. This is important because if you fuck this decision up, things aren't gonna be as easy for you. So Say what thing you want to pick first, and I'll try to, like, give you a hint on if that's a good idea or not. Uh, go in this door. Yes. Uh, take, take a pill. 
The king likes drawings. That will be useful later. I'll let you decide one. So that's all that's there, but you can go back now. Okay, this room? Yes. Aw, isn't she cute? No, so she's cute. not! Do you see her face? Yeah, she's adorable. <laughs> no, she was complete derp. Oh, how dare you? She's cute. Hello. You see them. You do, right? Uh, what? I see love what? all the go away options. I don't. Bye. The creature that falls, everyone. The shadows? You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they're here. You know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. I love it too. Yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon, I want a crayon, I will draw all the time. Yeah, I want, I want to find my kid. No, what are you drawing? Something. What is it? My dreams. Go now. By the way, real quick, if you picked the um, cat option, uh, and I think you would have said that your cat was missing, and she would have told you to just draw a cat if you didn't have your cat. Talk to her again. Hello. So you want me oh, to do that? Oh, shit. Thing? No. Go bye. Bye. I forgot. You have to click something else. Click your crayons. There That's mine. My crayons. Oh, you just talked to her again. Can I have it? I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Well, I she's right. She's but you have so many. Hey, who doesn't like you drawing? The nurses, they tie me up, and when, and when I want to draw, I can't. They're so crazy. Uh. What? <clears throat> what? She wants to stop the red milk. I'll see what I can do. Um. I don't think she. <sighs> this bed is very what? pink. You don't think she what? Knows anything. Oh, this is one of the, those mute clowns. I've seen so many and they all look so sad. Someone's very happy though. Good for him. Mm. Oh, real flowers. They Click smell so sweet. The drawer is empty. What? Case 17198550200. Name Adelaide. Adelaida? Adelaide? Adelaida. Fugents. Age 7. Gender female. Are we the oldest person in here? History: The patient has a victim of, was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Treatment: Doctor Marcel Dern has uh, become close to the patient through drawing therapy. She's making progress. Oh, this is very sad, but at least she's recovering. I wish I could solve my problems, but I have to fight them to find out the truth. So, minor thing. Huh? What, is there only one doctor in this entire hospital? Well, it's a very small hospital. I think there's only maybe like, you meet one, two, three, four, five, six. You should blame yourself. Be quiet. Six or seven he, kids. He takes away your innocent inner child and devours it. No one believes you, although the wounds are bleeding. Do you see where the hands are on her? Yeah. I don't want to touch it. It's the clown from the painting. Maybe mm -hmm. if I touch it, it'll jump and scare me a lot. Mm, Alright, nothing happened. It must be dead. Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Even the pierce of things die in this place. Yes, I can see. When did the, where did the clown go? Over there. We already figured out that mystery. 
Alright. Pop another pill because that's a little bit annoying. Very red. Okay. Alright, now this is what's super important. You can click that window. The maze. We never get to play there. Whoa, tonight the fog is pretty thick. I wish I could get lost in there. When you go back to the main room, take your pill. Wait, just a minute. What? I need to check something. Yeah, we're over on time, actually. So, guys, next time on Let's Play Frambo, we're going to be moving on as we travel around this weird mental hospital and find out what's really going on and the why Satan... And why Satan thinks he's a king of anything. Who died and made him a king of anything, right? Shut up, Gabe. <laughs> Song references! I'll see you guys next time!